Hello everybody, welcome back to One Play Gourmet, where today we'll be making shrimp. Let's begin, shall we? We'll use half a shallot, six baby potatoes, a bunch of broccoli heads, make sure to cut off the stems, about a cup of veggie broth, one whole pepper, one tablespoon ground coriander, two tablespoons oregano, one tablespoon garlic, one tablespoon cumin powder, one tablespoon aneto, and of course shrimp, our main ingredient. Get this from a nice fresh fish store if you like. First we're going to start off by dicing our shallots into bite-sized pieces, and then we're going to julienne our peppers. Julienne is just cutting things into short, uh, thin strips. Then we're going to slice our baby potatoes and proceed to prepare our shrimp. First, what you want to do is just remove the shell. You can do this by peeling off the top and then wiggling it out from the bottom tail end. And then put them into a nice bowl. Next, you want to use your knife and cut along the axis of it into the spine. And just try to get that intestine out. It's like a little black uh, thread. Next, over high heat, we're just going to saute our potato slices. Saute them until they're nice golden brown. Give it a couple of minutes, flip it on each side till you get that nice crust. Then we're going to saute our shallots in another skillet. Well the first one wasn't really a skillet but you know what I mean. Then proceed to add in our shrimp and let it cook through for about six minutes, flipping it occasionally. I hate shrimp because I had it too much as a kid but this smells pretty good. Now just add in our half cup of vegetable broth and save the other half. We'll use that for later. You'll see why. Now very meticulously and without much thought, add in every single one of our ingredients. I mean seasonings. Yeah. And then just give it a good whisk and let it all meld in together. It should start to look a little bit like this. Then season generously with salt and pepper, of course, to taste, as everything should be. Just lift the back of your spoon to make sure you know, it tastes pretty good. Add in our broccoli heads here, and because broccoli absorbs water so much, add in the other half cup of our vegetable broth. Then add in our julienne peppers and our sliced potatoes, which we previously fried or sauteed. The difference really depends on the size of the thing you're cooking. Then just mix it all together and plate it. And use the sauce and just drizzle it on top and top it off with some nice parsley. And there you have it. Okay, that one. Hopefully that one does it's recording. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Shit, got my apron.